Hi there, fourth grade, Mrs. Neal here, and we're going to do an art lesson on YouTube. So, hope you enjoy it. Um, first off, I want to talk to you guys about the art show. I'm looking for student submissions for the art show. Let me explain to you for a second what I want. I want something that you worked really hard on, something that's really important to you that you would be really mad if something happened to it. Not something that you did in five minutes or like a coloring page. Something that's really important that I can put up and we can be proud of and and we can all admire what great work you did. If you have something like that that you would love to enter in the art show, please drop it in the box outside my room. But I need your name and your teacher's name on the back, first and last, for your name, please. And I promise I will take great care of it and put it up for the art show. All right, let's get on with it and do today's fun little lesson. And you're not even being graded today, so don't worry about that. Um, but this is sort of a partner lesson, so uh, I want you to take the piece of paper. Um, you are going to need three things. Piece of paper, obviously, this video, obviously, and something to color with. So to start with, I want you to just draw 12 dots on a piece of paper. You can just do it in pencil. I did mine on mark with markers so you could see it really well. Spread out the dot so they're all over the paper. Now this next part, you're going to need a friend. So trade your paper with somebody near you. Go ahead. Okay, now this is the part where you're going to use your imagination. Look at the dots on the paper. Now I took the very same dots and I traced them onto a different paper, but I just wanted to tell you my thought process here. You are going to make a dot-to-dot -dot monster. You're going to use every single dot here and somehow put it together into a monster. So I'm going to try to get real coordinated and draw and hold the iPad at once. So, let me show you what I did. These four at the top kind of look like a head to me. Kind of a weird head, but hey, it's alright. And then I just started connecting these dots. Okay, so here I have kind of a weird shape. Now I'm thinking, if that's going to be some kind of monster, what could it be? So I looked at it for a while, and I thought, you know what, that kind of reminds me of a sea monster. So let me show you what I drew. I came up with this guy. Same exact thing as before, I just traced it on the other paper. Now, when you do your monster, I don't want to see a whole bunch of sea monsters. You can do any kind of monster that you want, like a hairy one or a lizardy one. Um, but I want you to really, really look and think about what you would want your monster to be. And mine's looking sideways, just because I thought that that one part looked like a mouth. It doesn't have to. It can look um, to the front or to the right or whatever, whatever you think, but. Um, so that's my sea monster, and, um, and so now you have a chance to take the dots that your friend drew for you, connect them, and to create some kind of a monster. When you're done, will you do me a favor, pretty please? Do a really awesome job, and um, pile them all up, and clip them together, and um, make sure your name's on the back. And give them back to me, please. Just have your teacher throw them in my mailbox with your teacher's name on the back. Because I cannot wait to see these cool monsters. And don't forget, if 
you have something really cool that you could give me for the art show, put them in the box that's outside my door. And But be really sneaky about it, please. Thank you so much, and have a fun time making yourself a monster. Bye-bye now.